folks. Uh, so I have not uh, had a lot of time to work on the um, on the hardware for the 6809 Playground for a while. Uh, just had a lot of other things going on, some family stuff. I got a kid going off to college, so we've been kind of busy. And um, but I have been able to spend some time um, in the evenings working on some software. And I've been working on an emulator for this machine for a while because I've been I've been thinking about it for a couple of years now. And so um, some of the stuff I've been working on, I thought it might be uh, just kind of fun to share, uh, so you can kind of have a taste of what's coming in the next few episodes. So um, let me start the emulator I've been working on. Um, I've I've been kind of working on the monitor environment and a few other things. So um, it can uh, you know sort of do a bunch of the normal stuff. It can access memory. I'm gonna let's see. I'm just gonna dump. Um, I'm going to dump the, the fixed ROM, like 64 bytes worth of it. You can just see you can dump memory. You can you can write to memory. Um, if actually, if you look at um, if you look at uh, um, uh, just the, the 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 low banked RAM, um, the the emulator actually fills it with random junk to kind of simulate uninitialized memory. So one of the things you can do is you can um, set it to uh, all zeros, for example, and you can look at it again. We cleared out memory there, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also uh, jump to routines, and uh, you can um, look at register contents. Um, I'll, I'll kind of do a little more in-depth thing um, on how, how this works later. But one of the things I've implemented over the last couple of evenings is the ability to load uh, S records, which is kind of useful because um, it makes it easy to get software onto the onto this machine, or, or in this case, the emulator. So. What I've done is there's a fellow um, named Dave Worker who reached out to me on Mastodon about some cool 6809 programs he's written, including a fourth interpreter and a Lisp interpreter. And so what I've done here is I've I ported his Lisp interpreter to the playground um, just to use the you know the the, the, the kernel's console routines and uh, you know tweaked it a little bit so that it can load into the to the high memory region and then use the low memory region for uh, sort of its data area. So um, what I have there is I've, I built it as uh, in S record format. So let's cat this here. So you can see there's a whole bunch of S records for this Lisp interpreter. So what I'm going to do is so I'm going to type load S over here in the in the uh, in the emulators um, sort of ROM monitor. So it's waiting for S records, and we're going to come over here and grab all this stuff right here copy it, and then I'm going to paste it in, and there we go, and I can just jump to it, and um, there we go, I just loaded Dave's Lisp interpreter into memory on my um, on my playground emulator, and uh, you know, sorry my Lisp is rusty, but uh, I do know how to add numbers, there's a little demo of that, anyway, um, so yeah, so this is just uh, to let you know that more stuff is coming, and uh, this is kind of just a taste of, of some of the stuff that we'll be doing here in the next few episodes, so Thank you for your patience, and I'm um, looking forward to, uh, to seeing you again uh, uh, on the YouTube soon. Bye-bye.